Hey Collective, it's your girl Spiritual Sage. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. Y'all could be anywhere right now, but you're right here with your girl. So let's jump in with these cards and see what's going on for my collective. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light. Allow me to channel the energy around my collective, please, and thank you. All right, perseverance popped out. Let me pick it up, y'all. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. All right, now y'all know how I feel about the color purple. It signifies um, someone who's very intuitive. The darker the purple, the more intuitive this person is, okay? Something with the fifth dimension. Fifth dimension. All right, so let's keep going, spirit. What's going on? Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel this energy. Peace and thank you. Protect my collective. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Oh, hell. Y'all, this envy card been hitting my board for months. I'm so sick of it. Why do people envy folk? Damn. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Okay? Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So, let's see what this is about. These two popped out, too. Abundance and discipline. Okay, so. Abundance and discipline. Abundance and discipline. Y'all. Listen. Watched the movie last night called um, Devoted. Y'all need to go watch that movie. It's gonna have you, it's gonna put you in some tears now. But my God, if that movie was not full of inspiration, I don't know what it was. You hear me? Something's coming towards you. Okay? We've been talking about this change for a long time. What they say, the meek shall inherit the earth. The last shall be first. However you want to call it. Things is changing. There's this huge shift. And everybody feel it across the board. But those who were in those positions, that are, they, they losing them. Whatever positions, relationship, romantic, however. They're trying to hold on tooth and nail. You feel me? So now you got perseverance and discipline. The perseverance, I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. Discipline, I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. So with these two cards... Maybe you've been going through a lot. And uh, you could be nearing the end. It could be some motherfuckers mad. Y'all start hearing these loud noises. That's them just distractions, okay? And when I watched that movie last night, that's what stuck out to me. Um, it was about the Tus Tuskegee Airmen. Well, when they joined, it was one officer no i don't know the rankings y'all i'm so sorry because i be wanting to give folks they they do both of these um officers were the same rank i think one of them was rooting for the tuskegee airmen it was an experiment yes it was and they didn't think they didn't think that the yeah, man, y'all have to watch this movie, man and no i'm not making nothing about race but it is about perseverance and discipline no matter what the fuck color it is. You see? And that's why I've, I, I'm telling you with the perseverance and discipline on this board. Because you was able to do something that caused some type of change. That's going to bring in some type of abundance. I feel like you have the abundant mindset, right? I am a limitless being. And I can manifest whatever I want into my, whatever I desire into my physical reality. But in that movie last night. One of the officers was rooting for them. They wanted them to succeed and pass the test so that they could, they had to fight to fight. They had to fight to get in so that they could fight the war. It was crazy, y'all. But, um, and when they took their test, they were scoring. The lowest score was a 95. Most of them was 100s. And so they had to take that to get in. Well, that one officer, he was like, no. I just, and now, mind you, this is back in the 50s. He's like, no. Um, black people can't do that. So he made them test again. And they scored the same thing. But there was an another officer there who was 
Um, he was rooting for them. He wanted them to succeed, but there was one officer that didn't. So you may have been put through a lot of, you had to in order for this perseverance and discipline to be on this board today. But I'm telling you, because you've done so, it's causing some change here. I feel like people's minds are being opened up to other things, other possibilities. I know last night in that movie, and they never lost a plane during combat. They never lost, not one. You hear me? And so, baby, this change is causing some envy. Okay? Uh, you will know if this is your reading or not. Okay? I feel like whatever's happening may uh, also bring in some type of abundance here. Let's pull the tarot out. Y'all get so sick of this shit, bro. I'm here. Move them out. Move on out. Move them out. What that mean? I don't know. Maybe someone, maybe someone's physically moving out. Or maybe somebody telling somebody to leave. Calling something quits. I, I'm not sure. But yeah, I just saw that ten of wands with the seven of wands. That's, that's perseverance. That's standing your ground. He was calling them lazy. Uh, they ain't had no discipline. They didn't have... They weren't able to test. They weren't able... He was basically saying that those seats should have been filled by... White officers. It, it was about race, but it, it shouldn't have been. But it was. And so the men, they had to go through... Oh, my God, y'all. Please watch the movie. It's It's... It's a very, very, very good movie. And, um, but they made it. And, oh, man, it was beautiful. But it, it started as an experiment. It was an experiment. And they just wanted to, oh, okay. Now, this one I'm picking up, take a hot resonate. I just heard that somebody could be experimenting with tarot card readers. Take the hot resonate, okay. I know a couple months ago I was picking up when I got ready to do a reading that day, I was saying, uh, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. So I don't know what's going on. But um those of you who persevered through whatever you had to go through, uh made some changes in your life and became disciplined. You put your minds, it's basically just not giving up. This could be as simple as somebody trying to throw you off your path, throw you off what you know you was called to do. And maybe you kept going. It is causing change and it's bringing in abundance. And someone's envious of it, period. This, this, this may not even have anything to do with race. And I didn't bring up that movie to talk about race, but I brought up that movie to talk about the perseverance. Like, if you really see that movie, you will know. They was putting them boys through some, whew, they bad. It was some crazy shit. And then after that movie, I watched The Right Stuff. Well, they ended up watching me because I fell asleep. Hell, it was already about oh in the morning by the time I got through it. Yeah. So, Queen of Wands. This is, man or woman, this is someone who's confident, beautiful. I feel like they couldn't break your confidence. I, I do. And whatever you were working on, because they got their hand on that wand. Some of you guys are very spiritual. You see that black cat? Some of you, have, it's like uh, very mystical or something like that. I already talked about that with this purple right here. But um, maybe this person was coming after your root chakra, fucking with your stability, or coming after your um, sacral chakra to try to mess with your creativity. But she's holding on. She's holding steadfast to this wand. The wands is all about um, having new ideas and inspirations, right? So she's holding, he or she, they holding on to it. And they are stand, sitting firmly on their throne in their position they're not and they've overcome look at the mountains behind them so those were the obstacles well they're, they're now this person sitting in front of them on a platform okay and so that tells me that they've overcome these obstacles and maybe those two obstacles were some major you know what i mean you've overcome them okay there's something powerful i see these two lions right here behind her is something powerful about him or her okay 
what he say? Around the world, they know my voice. And I done it all in a parody of yours. Yeah. Something to prove. Maybe you had something to prove. Not to others, but maybe to yourself. To your family, to your children. To your bloodline. Something like that, okay? Yeah, all right. You got the higher thing. I don't like how it's trying to come up in the reverse. So this is someone who, uh, this is a leader. They have people who follow them. <clears throat> they gave somebody keys to something. I, I made a uh, made a deck the other day, and in that deck, there's a card that says they have the keys to your home, to your mailbox, to your car. This person then gave these two people the keys to something. I don't know what this is they was trying to do. I feel like they do a lot of little, if y'all anything like me, this person might do a lot of little petty shit. It, like a little, a bunch of bullshit that just, you know, it add up over time and it make you just want to give up. But whoever this is, they not giving up. Now, some of you, everybody works through the timeline different. So some of you, you could just now be getting ready to go through this. Others of you, you've already overcome the obstacles. And so that's why you, you're sitting in front of the mountains. that They're behind you now. I see protection. You see these lions? They're protecting you. There's two here. There's two here. These two here are in spirit. So take that how it resonates. But then these two here, that's physical protection. So some of y'all got physical protection and spiritual protection. Hmm. And damn, the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a visionary leader. This may be a partnership and or this could be one person who has uh, mastered the, the feminine and masculine energy within themselves. So for some of you, this is going to be a partnership. And then for others of you, this is going to be one person. Y'all have to take it how it resonates. All right. Mm. Somehow I feel like Because I see this little Chameleon Somehow this Queen of Wands Inspired this King of Wands To also go after their passions This King of Wands is looking To this Queen of Wands She's looking at him too And so maybe before they, they may have had other uh, energies around them. I feel like these two, for those of you where these are two different people, I feel like they coming together, like-minded individuals. I cannot make it up. Two of Cups, partnership. They coming together, like-minded. He got a cup and she got a cup. You see that lion standing on top of these two? This That's that power couple, man. It, it really ain't shit that this king and queen of wands cannot do together shit you fuck with them long enough they'll turn into the emperor and the empress on your ass and people know that and so a lot of people try to keep these two apart mm -hmm. all right so what we got wow this might be a twin flame situation y'all know every time i get the lovers with the two of cups that's twin flame whatever it is is powerful it's powerful. Damn. All right, I'm liking it. What's this? All right, so you got the five of cups. Whoever this is, is in the five of cups here. This could be a mother figure. This could be an ex-spouse. This could be a business partner. Whoever the queen of pentacles, this person is in the five of cups for some reason. Uh, it could be, yeah, because they've done all kind of shit. I cannot make it. Look at this. To try to end a new connection. Didn't I say, look at that page of ones. That's all about inspiration. This person done got inspired, so they done ate a cup something. But um, this Queen of Pentacles, Five of Swords, there's the Envy. Y'all can't even see the cards. Five of Swords is the Envy. It's having to win by enemies necessary. But uh, it also speaks of defeat. Because they could not get whoever this is to give up on themselves or quit. Or 
um, lose confidence in them. If, if you had lost cop, you would have came up in the reverse. You're in the upright. Everybody knows the Queen of Wands is undeniable. The King and the Queen of Wands is undeniable. Okay? So, with the Seven of Cups, they've done a lot of shit to try to end someone with the death card. For some of you, they may have even tried to physically end a person. Because earlier I said there's spiritual protection and physical protection. Somebody did a whole lot of shit, man. Which is why you got this perseverance and discipline. And for some of y'all, race is involved in this situation. For some. Because anything that happens in my reading is relevant. Alright, so now you got justice in the upright. I feel like shit is being balanced out. Period, point blank. Someone's learning something new here with the Page of Pentacles. Uh, hell, somebody could have even been defending someone from behind the scenes. Like, alright, so whoever was having to persevere, maybe you thought you was doing it by yourself. But maybe you had this King of Wands helping you from behind the scenes with the Seven of Wands and the Moon. I don't know. Let's. I should have brought my deck out here that I made, but after yesterday, I said I wasn't gonna pull no more of them cards. Cause it was some uh, messed up things coming out of there, and I don't, I don't care to talk about all that stuff, you know. So anyway, let's see what's going on. Here. Someone could be in the entertainment. You got the media. So it says, um, look at that and then entertainer. Listen, I didn't see it. Okay, it was behind them cars. I couldn't have saw it. And then there's change again. And so what the cars say, there's a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. Just because you don't see any movement doesn't mean shit ain't happening. Things is changing. And I feel like whatever this change is, it brings it's gonna bring in some type of abundance. All right, and hell, the King of Wands could have had choice between the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. And so maybe, you know, you had to go through whatever this was. Shit, it could have been a whole family testing you. Well, if you're good enough for this person, do this, do that, do this, do that. You know, whatever it is you had to go through, child. Um, so you got entertainer. Put yourself out there. Bring out the best so that you get noticed. You got media, step into the spotlight and get seen. Don't allow your talent to go unnoticed. And then you got promoter. All right, so it says if there's a new idea or a project manifesting, know that it has great potential for success. I said she's holding steadfast to that Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is new ideas, passionate ideas. And so is this king. Both of them holding on to the ones. So they come together. Like this right here. Spirit says it has great potential for success. Well, you got abundance right there. Hell, this king could have been working with this queen of pentacles. I don't know. I don't know, child, but baby. Maybe someone's a writer. Yeah, they, I feel like you done had all kinds of setbacks. I feel like you done been through a lot. Okay? Voice. Get your message heard and get noticed. You have much to share with the world. Damn, somebody could be an artist. And then you got destiny. So maybe something was destined to play out this way. Yeah, believe in your dreams and your passions. It's your calling to follow them. What I say, this person, they couldn't get you to not believe in yourself. I said this could have been somebody who was trying to get you off your path. Not if you knew you was called to do it. And they did a lot. Seven of Cups, Five of Swords with the deck card. They did a lot of shit. But you persevere. And there it is again. Envy. And I said because you persevere. Persistence. You got perseverance and persistence. The card says your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success is just around the corner. Follow through with what you set out to do consistently until you have reached your goal. And hard work is required. So yeah, I feel like motherfuckers are trying to make you give up on yourself multiple times. The envy card right here says others could be envying your success. Whatever this is y'all getting ready to do is going to be successful. And that's period. So with this control, don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form that you wanted it to. Sometimes blessings come in disguise. Stay open-minded and see the potential. 
Some of y'all have no idea about this. This person does. Oh, yeah. <coughs> the other day, I was picking up, like, somebody tried to put somebody in the media or something like that. And it, because somebody's so highly connected with Mother Earth, it had a, a different effect. It really did, okay? Now, you got this rescue right here. Someone may enter your life and help you resolve any difficulties that you're experiencing. Um, some of y'all might become part of a rescue association. I, I, I keep picking it up. All right? I consider careers as a firefighter, paramedic, or any rescue or heroic profession. Take me back to um, when I said this man had an opportunity and he needed to hire someone who was a medium. What was the first thing that I was picking up was this purple about the intuition. Maybe this person was. I mean, I don't know. It's something going on, y'all. But I feel like, like the car said, this changes for the better. And, and some of y'all have already proved that you deserve to have whatever this is without even knowing that that's what the fuck was going on. You see? Um, I'm also picking up on, like, something wasn't meant to come. Okay. Okay, hold up. It's like something wasn't meant to come to you. Maybe somebody didn't even know about you. But you know how some people, uh, especially with this envy out here twice. Haters will bring your name up. And they bring it up to the right person. They end up doing what? Promoting you. Then we get to promote a card. They end up promoting you instead of it having the effect that they wanted it to have. And I feel like that's why that control is here. Blessings come in disguise. So it may not. This huge change and this big ass opportunity may not come how you wanted it to. Let's go back to the movie that I was watching last night. That was a fucking experiment. That was experimenting on them folk. Because they didn't believe that they could learn they didn't believe that they could fight they didn't they they saw them as inferior period but come on y'all you know you get a group of them motherfuckers together and ain't shit they can't do if they are disciplined you know so anyway you got peacemaker here and recognition all right now when this lady come out man or woman i tell you they looking for a protege basically yeah them motherfuckers mad you can tell because you ain't got to do all that shit to get up that little ass here so anyway consider careers in counseling psychic work or energy healing right this person could be world renowned in what they do they could be well renowned in what they do. And so maybe they want to work with you or something like that. Because she done got some type of recognition, child. But I really just feel like... Something wasn't meant. You were not... It's almost like... They have a group of four people. And they come there to see the group. And maybe the uh, one of the members' throats start hurting so the dude that's in the backstage who hooks up the equipment has to step in. And when he does, he he's blown, like he blows the people in the audience away. Something like that. I don't feel like you were originally meant to have whatever this was. I mean, it was because Destiny's out here, but you got noticed from a hater, basically. Basically, okay? So, whatever you're working on now will win you the respect of others, okay? You could earn a leadership position or get the recognition that you deserve. And the boys, that's all they wanted, you know? Was to be recognized for their efforts and, and that they, they could do that shit. And they did it. And they did a damn good job, okay? So, now you got Peacemaker here. Consider politics, negotiations, unions, contracts, or any peacemaking careers. <sighs> yeah, this person could be independent. You got businesses. Maybe some of you guys could be settling. Right? Spirit says, don't settle for a dead-end job where you don't see any opportunities for growth. Some of y'all is getting ready to get offered whatever this is. Expect good news and money matters, a raise or a job offer. Promising opportunities await. And money will soon start flowing to your businesses. But some of you, something was already offered to you. And this person wasn't doing what they were supposed to, right? Red bird, red bird. Um, 
because it says there's some confusion regarding money. People are not following through on their promises to pay on time. So expected money may not materialize. They, you, it could have been a business doing this to someone. Or this could be that Queen of Pentacles. Somebody was doing some underhanded shit. And I feel like all of that came out. The Page of Pentacles, learning something new. And then I kept getting the other day that somebody lost their job because they was abusing their power, y'all. So you have to take that high resume. Charity. So um, some of you guys are about to step into humanitarian work, human rights, justice, or advocacy work. Also, maybe for, for somebody here, something could have been left to you. But look at that. Success will find you. I, I feel like you were not initially in something or, or chose for something, but it had to it had to it had to happen this way. Okay, whatever this is, it had to happen this way. So yeah, somebody's taking a calculated risk, and sometimes taking that risk it's, it's necessary in order to advance. Um. You got the student, so we already got the counselor right here. I told you this person, when they come out, they could be looking for a protege. And then you got the student, work with a mentor to learn new skills. Um, Somebody could pay for you to go to school. So this would be that, um, that captain in the movie who was rooting for the Tuskegee Airmen. And this would be with that hierophant in the reverse this would be that captain that did not want them to make it okay and I also yesterday I got that something could have been tell on the television we do got this media car here it's, it's some shit going on bro all right, but you're being asked to follow your instincts at this time when making business decisions okay Anything else like this date before I put it up? Yep. Say yes to the things you think you can't do. Because like I said, for some of you, you haven't went through this yet. You're getting ready to go through it. Um, but anytime you bring in change, anytime you're breaking barriers, it's not a it's not easy. I don't care what field it is, what you're doing. It could be as simple as you dating outside your race. You, you, you're going to have issues. Even when people ain't... It should not even matter what, who the fuck you date, but people going to always find something to say. As if it's like, what the fuck? So, Spirit is telling you, trust in the universe. Know that your needs will be met. There is a spiritual reason why you are experiencing this cycle. And this is a good time to connect with your spirit guides. Um, I feel like during this time, something is going to happen to you that's going to set you apart. Okay? Some of y'all are going to be put in the spotlight way before you even wanted to or even knew about it. Because how else is this recognition coming through? You got to think about that. All right? Um, so just trust. Might be uncomfortable. Them boys went through... To see grown men cry. And I know it was a movie, but hell, that was based, it was based on true events. They was losing friends every day. They said, some of y'all ain't gonna make it. Some of y'all, now I'm not saying that this was going on right here. But you know. And even in that movie, uh, The Right Stuff. They was trying to figure out what astronaut was gonna go. I think he ended up going to, um, what's his name? Y'all, not Alan, the other one. I think it ended up going to him. But it was between them two. So that both of them were very good now. Okay, okay, Spirit. Both of them were very good. So maybe this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands was very good. These could be men, women, same sex, opposite sex. It don't matter. Maybe they were very good at what to do. And, but I'm, with, with this rescue... What I'm picking up right here, y'all. The other day I had picked up, you remember that skater, that ice skater, figure skater, where that woman hired somebody to 
beat her kneecaps in so she could beat her. That's the five of swords. Having to win at all costs. Right? But somebody done done all kind of shit. And they probably ain't through. They probably doing more. You feel me? So that's, that's not going to be for everybody. But for somebody on this board, that's what I'm picking that up. Y'all could be dealing with somebody that just, they're like, they can't beat you no other way or they can't make you give up on yourself. They can't stop you from getting recognition. They really might do some foul shit, you know, try to get somebody to do something to you or something like that. And it's because you're getting ready to end the most comfortable period of your life. That's that abundance right there. But it's it's not just, it's not like you just was picked and, oh, here you go. You had to persevere. Huh? Persistence. So whatever you, the fuck you getting ready to walk into, I feel like you earned it. Just like them boys. They earned the right to get them goddamn wings. And they earned the they had to fight to go fight. I remember saying that last night. Like, what? You had to fight to go fight? But they did. And now it's all kind of Africans and Americans in there. But see, they had to open the door. To bring some type of change. Right? I feel like that hierophant, the reason it was in the reverse, that's it's also like a belief system. Like, they believed that those boys wouldn't make it through training. They believed that they were not able to be taught nothing. Because they believed that they was inferior. But by the time the motherfucking program was done, that belief was turned upside down. And they were very good at what they did. I'm not saying they was the best, but bitch, they was close. Okay? So, spirits say, embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Some of you may receive money from a legal matter. Yeah, windfall right behind it. Could be because of the setbacks because what motherfuckers was doing to you and say you're about to receive a windfall of money or a pay raise maybe uh whatever because we see this abundance if it's a job maybe it pays very fucking good it got to but people that be doing this and then the other move i watched before Ooh, devoted devoted y'all Oh, y'all got to watch the movie Devoted. He was young when he died. He was 24. He got stuck in his plan. But there was some good-ass movies. And I said to myself last night, the little shit that I be going through, I be sitting around this bitch complaining. Like, they was really going through it. And they didn't have. <laughs> Baby. If you know, you know. You see? If you know, you know. So, they didn't have nobody. For real, for real. And he would get in the mirror and tell himself he was the only African American in that um he wanted to be a pilot, aviator, whatever they called him. I'm sorry I don't know the correct names and ranks and all of that. And I don't mean no disrespect. I'm just trying to get the move out there. So he would get in the mirror and tell himself all of the fucked up shit that people had tell, told him over the years. Boy, you don't deserve you don't deserve to be no pilot, boy. You call a grown man a boy. Uh, you're not good enough. Like, and then he would cry. Then he'd wash his face and he'd go to work. He said it helped him. It gave him that, you know, you got to do do whatever helps, right? But I'm like, damn, to see a grown man cry, y'all. But you cannot. Get, it's okay to cry. If you got to blow snot with that, hey, nobody say it's okay. But what you cannot do, because you're creating some change that is needed. With destiny here, whatever this change is, is absolutely needed. You were absolutely chosen for it. Whether other people knew it or not. To other people who are giving you this opportunity, it might seem like a flu. But not with destiny here. You don't think the Most High God knew about the T Tuskegee Airmen before their mamas got pregnant with their ass? Okay. Everybody ain't built for this. Discipline, perseverance, and persistence. And both of them are saying, I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. I told y'all the other day, I don't care what type of red tape or how many odds are stacked up against you. The only real limit is your mind. Because them boys had everything stacked up against them. Hell, it was a fucking experiment. He said, I'm going to make it. 
I'm, I'm still going to be here when this program is over. He done made it up in his mind. So he was already ready to face whatever was coming his way. Just period. And nobody said it was easy. It was hard as fuck. One man uh, got kicked out of the program. He got in the, in the airplane and... I said airplane. What the fuck? He got in the plane and took himself out. He was begging that man not to take, not to kick him out that program. But they told him they said, "Yeah, this is an experiment, but we're not gonna cut no corners. We're not gonna um, what is to say? We're not gonna baby you. We're not gonna motherfucking give you no pacifier. If you want to be an aviator, if you want to, you really want to do this shit, then you got to pass just like anybody else would." And so. He, he came out of formation and he was playing he was doing too much in the plane and that was a violation I hear, like hey bro when you already got 30 buildings stacked up against you you don't have time you don't have time there's look he said there was a little room for error and that black dude the other black dude said it don't it ain't no room for error you know who's to say had it been someone else that did it they were able to do something different, but it was him. And so he said, look, I got to let you go. Now, that um, that one officer that didn't like him wanted his ass gone because at that point, he was the best. And that man said, oh, yeah. He said, ain't nobody going to leave this program with a higher rank than mine. And so instantly, he felt competition with that man. That boy had just graduated college. And this man had been in the goddamn military forever. But he felt some type of competition with him. Because he took him in the air and he tried to make him sick. Tried to make him give up on himself. And the boy was like, yeah, let's keep going. And that pissed him off. And so he was just waiting on that moment for that boy to fuck up. And when that boy um, took that plane and went joyriding or whatever the fuck you want to call it. They kicked him out of the program. And he was begging that man. Begging, please. I was wrong. Whatever you want me to do, just please do not. That is who I am. I am a pilot. I am a fighter, whatever it was. He said, you got to go. You got to go. That boy took off running, got in that plane, took his last ride, and ended it. He said, I can't go home like this. Ooh. Ooh, shit, y'all. Baby. So, anyway... Regardless of where you are, when you do get towards the end, to the end of it, shit gonna take off. This card is a good indicator that things will start to move rather quickly. Depending on how big of a change this is that you're making, you know, people might want to interview. People might want to write a book. Uh, we will forever know about the Tuskegee Airmen. Forever. Right? Um, so if this is something that's gonna go down in history, it might be that same type of stuff. I don't, I don't know what the opportunity is, you know. But it's, it's creating some change. And it's changing the minds of the Hierophant. I feel like that's why this Hierophant is in the reverse. This is somebody who did not want you to succeed. But I do feel like it's changing some minds here. So I'm going to say congratulations. Whatever this is. And you have to keep going, man. And your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Even if don't nobody on the physical notice it. The most high God do. And there's reward in being obedient. If you know you were called to do something, but every day you get up, uh, things are being, you, you're like, damn, am I supposed to stop? You start questioning yourself because all this bullshit starts happening. But deep down, you know that this is what you was called to do. Them is just obstacles, okay? Distractions, obstacles. Somebody done overcame them shits. Because they are standing, they're sitting in front of the mountains. And they're over there, they some of y'all have already overcome these obstacles. Others of you could still be going through. But Spirit says just embrace the wisdom of the unknown and know that it will not all be for nothing. Something will have changed and you'll be entering the most comfortable period of your life. Okay? So let me get y'all an angel message. What is what it say? Easy does it. The race is not given to the swift, but to the one who endure. Which is why you have persistence, uh, discipline, and what was the other? Perseverance. So maybe something went on for a long time. 
and then they just start doing little stupid shit every day. Like, some of y'all would be like, man, listen, if you know, you know. <clears throat> some of y'all have had on purpose obstacles in your everyday life. <laughs> People come in, fucking with your shit, creating problems where it wasn't done. Right. You'd be surprised. That's okay. You have to keep going, baby. You have to. Whatever this is. All right. So let's get us an angel message. This is not going to be everybody's read. For some of you, it's a relationship. That's crazy. But, baby. And I feel like there's something about the purity. Because for, for some of you, when you wouldn't give up, it showed how evil them other motherfuckers was when they started doing all that crazy shit. Now, hold up. This person's not the problem. You're the fucking problem. That's for some of y'all. All right, so let's keep going. Yeah, some type of creative project here. Some of you guys could literally work with the angels, which I do. What do we need to see, Spirit, for the collective today? Keep going. I don't. I don't care what is what this is you're doing. If you in school, and yeah, because I'm telling you, you, was chose for something, baby. You a powerful light worker, and Spirit says it is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine, because you were destined to do this. Okay. Let the past go. And you're getting ready to step into this joy. And that's the highest energy of all. You will have earned whatever you're getting ready to walk into. You're not just chosen out the bunch and giving something. You had to earn whatever this is. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? <laughs> Earth angel, integrity, and blessing in disguise, man. Again, you are a light worker who's come to earth to teach about love. So whatever they were doing, they were doing it to an earth angel. I told y'all this the other day. I've been telling people for two years, be mindful. Be mindful who you, you don't know who God favors. And just because you don't believe in God don't mean nothing. Or just because you don't favor that person or that group of people, you don't know who the most high God favors. And see, a lot of people fuck up when they start judging on the physical. Oh, those people, they can't do this or they can't do that. This is somebody who was chosen by the creator. Think of, I want you to think about that. Whatever this is you're doing, you were chosen by the creator of this universe. Align your actions so they match your values and inner knowings of what's right for you. And what appears to be a problem is actually part of the answer prayer. You will understand the reason behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way possible. Blessing in disguise. Because this earth angel is tired. Look at them. They look like they out there by themselves. And look to the left, look to the right, ain't nobody next to him. But there's some type of blessing in disguise here, okay? And you cannot, you can't give up, man. I would not even be worrying about disappointing people on the physical or pleasing people on the physical. Some of y'all, you doing this for your whole fucking bloodline. It's that deep. For some of y'all, it's that deep. You can't give up. Like I said, you can go over there and cry. You can do whatever it is you got to do. But tomorrow, bitch, you better get back up and keep going. Okay, Archangel Michael, yeah. And y'all know Archangel Michael is the angel of protection. And what this say, okay, thank you, spirit. So, there is nothing to worry about. You are safe in the situations under perfect control of the divine. The divine created you to have whatever this is. I don't care, y'all, what it is. You're supposed to have it, do it, say it, be it, something. As long as you don't give up on yourself. You hear me? So vacuum away this fear. All right. From you, 
the surroundings, the situation, and everybody involved. A lot of people fear earth angels. Once they see that they can't destroy them. Okay, so think about it like this. You done tried to kill this butterfly all kind of ways, right? And it still get up and fly off. You are gonna start looking at that butterfly like, what the fuck is going on with this butterfly? Okay? You might think that it ain't human or I mean not human but you might think that there's some extra shit going on with it so people might start fearing it i don't know if that motherfucker gonna bite is my arm gonna break out or, or or what you see so whatever this was you had to persevere that ain't did a lot seven of cups there's seven different things that this person did and you still persevere so that means that somebody here knows that earth angels are real and how that song go? What if God was one of us, just a stranger on the bus? So it may not look like people imagine in their mind. It just be regular, smuggler people, you know. So then once they see that they can't make you quit or you know take you out or whatever the fuck it was, they start fearing you and try to make everybody else fear you because a lot of bad stuff come along with fear. If we can get a group of people to fear this person, it'll take care of itself. But it ain't nothing to feel with it. This person came here to teach people about love. To do stuff from my heart space. That's it. That's it. And that's the truth of it. I just said a heart space. Heart chakra. Thank you, Spirit. I love Spirit come through and confirm. Okay? Now, it says the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. Because an earth angel is a light worker who's come to earth to teach about love. And they're doing this in loving service to the divine. Why would you want to hurt somebody like that? Why? I don't understand, man. So, blessing in disguise. You're safe. Ain't nothing to worry about. But keep going. Keep going. Stay prayed up. Pray for the whole situation. Pray for everybody involved, y'all. Okay? I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Till next time. Bye.